Manny Pacquiao is a boxer from the Philippines who has become not only a worldwide recognizable name, but a global inspiration. He began his career in 1995 not to win a world title, but to simply put food on his table for himself and his family. He made his name known throughout local communities. Boxing quickly became his life, and worldwide domination ensued. The reign of Manny Pacquiao is one of the most notable in boxing history. At his peak, Pacquiao was near unbeatable. A boxer has many ways to accomplish victory inside a boxing ring, by knockouts through technical submission or with superior skill. We break down the skills Pacquiao used along with what separates him from the rest. First up, we go to Pacquiao's fight versus Miguel Cotto. Pacquiao scored this knockdown with a signature combination. This three-punch combo entails Pacquiao hitting the body with the second shot, resulting in a drop of the guard from Cotto. And on the third punch, Pacquiao comes back up to the head, which was consequently exposed. We've seen Pacquiao use this path of attack in numerous fights, which brings us to his fight against Keith Thurman. Here Pacquiao again uses that same combination. Throw to the head, throw to the body, then land to the head. This Mayweather vs. Pacquiao was the biggest fight in the last few decades. And this double left hand from Pacquiao is just epic. Landing one punch on Mayweather is hard enough, but to land two consecutively with the same hand is seriously impressive. This fight against Oscar De La Hoya was a one-sided beatdown. And this four-punch combination was simply brutal. Pacquiao is so fast, we have to slow the footage down to see the effect of each punch. Also, take notice of how each punch has its own trajectory. Pacquiao knocked Shane Mosley down with a straight left hand. Notice the feint before throwing the left hand to make Mosley flinch. Pacquiao also sent the left hand up with a feint in the Marquez fight. The faint right hand, straight left hand, is a blend of deception and destruction. Pacquiao's win over Marco Antonio Barrera sent shockwaves around the world. This knockdown showed the power Manny held, knocking down a great Mexican fighter. Pacquiao is a boxer who just loves to fight. Against Marquez, we saw an all-out war. Mayweather fights, Pacquiao lands a great counter left hand. Pacquiao parries Mayweather's jab, then throws the left hand straight while also moving his head to the right. In the Here Pacquiao nearly scores a knockdown against Adrian Broner. Pacquiao steps back to avoid the jab, then sneaks in a straight left hand through the guard. A low head position helps Pacquiao invade the tight defense. In that same fight, Pacquiao landed this right hook. Pacquiao ducks below Broner's lead hand, setting up an unusual angle of attack to land this great punch. Here, Pacquiao lands a great body shot on Thurman. Hooking out his right hand. That's always greasy. Pacquiao lands a great left hand around the side, and Thurman had to take out his mouth guard just to breathe. Pacquiao's the fight versus between... Joshua Clotty. Clotty refused to engage with Pacquiao. People gave Cotto a couple of rounds, the first and the fifth. Pacquiao found humor in Clotty's unwillingness to fight by double punching with both hands at the same time. On Antonio Margarito was the cleanest punch of the night. Just mentally and physically fatigued both. Pacquiao lands a right hook while Margarito overextends on a right hand. In that same fight, Pacquiao had this Matrix style sequence against the ropes. It was another left hand rally by Manny Pacquiao. 
Pacquiao dodges Margarito's punch by the tiniest amount, then returns over the top with a right hook. Pacquiao has an underrated defense, with excellent spatial awareness and ring intelligence. In Bradley fight, Pacquiao used this awesome move with the left hook. Pacquiao rolls under Bradley's left hook, then lands a left hook of his own on the way up. We also saw this move against Juan Manuel Marquez. The roll puts the opponent off balance and makes them fall onto the hook. This is a great move and very similar to the Dempsey roll. Perhaps we should call this the Pac-Man roll. Pacquiao is generally always faster than his opponents. Here Pacquiao beats Rios to the punch with an intersection of the left hand. Pacquiao's only fight at 135 pounds ended just as you might expect. A thunderous short left hand thrown downward shattered the jaw of Diaz, knocking him out cold. We saw a punch similar to this against Marquez. Pacquiao throwing the punch downwards penetrates the guard of Marquez, knocking him down. This knockdown of Tim Bradley may look a little strange. Looks like Bradley is not only a great boxer, but a gymnast too. Pacquiao's fight against Margarito was full of fast combinations. Watch here how Pacquiao pulls Margarito's hand down after with his right hand to set up another attack. Pacquiao and Eric Morales was jam-packed with back-and-forth action. We thought Morales was going down. Oh, and he does go down! Here, Pacquiao lands a short left hand to the side of the head to knock Morales down. In the second fight, Pacquiao landed a right hook counter in the first round. I've never seen this thing. Oh, and a beautiful hook! This is similar to the hook against Broner. Pacquiao falls onto his back leg to dodge a jab, and with the momentum, he throws a right hook over the lead hand of Morales. This electrifying knockdown in round three solidified Pacquiao's victory over Eric Morales. Pacquiao's superior speed makes hitting a moving target easier for him than it is for most, and his left hand is without a doubt one of the deadliest punches in boxing history. For all the people around the world love boxing, thank you to all your support with us. Thank you very much. Manny Pacquiao is a name synonymous with greatness that will go down in history as one of the greatest ever. That's unquestionable. Manny Pacquiao has become the fighter that he needed to be to reach the top. Filipino assassin who fights with a smile on his face, a superstar.